Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at analysis of three-phase full wave control rectifier with R load. So let's get started. So this is the waveform of three-phase full wave control rectifier with R load, which we had analyzed in detail in the previous video, isn't it? So we are going to consider this waveform to derive the expression for average output voltage. So this waveform is extremely important for considering the upper and lower limits and the total time period for deriving the average voltage expression and that's why we are considering this. So often there are problems as related to the average output voltage or the average output current. So if we, if we derive the expression, if you know how to derive the expression, it is pretty simple and straightforward and that's what we are going to do in this particular video. So let's uh, start our analysis. Mainly we are going to con consider this into two different modes that is continuous conduction mode so anything uh, where alpha is greater than 60 degrees is generally discontinuous. That is waveform this one and waveform this one, which is indicated over here. The reason is because the output voltage is going to zero, which we had clearly seen as why it's happening in the previous video. So in case you have not watched it, please do watch it because it is just like a continuation of what we have learned in the past. So for continuous conduction mode, that is alpha less than 60 degree. So we'll be starting our analysis with that conduction mode that is for continuous conduction mode that is for alpha is less than 60 degrees so we'll be writing the expression to start with v out dc is nothing but the total time period here is nothing but 1 by pi, pi by 3 because if you observe this is the continuous conduction mode waveform and each cycle we are seeing an interval of pi by 6 so every pi by 3 so every 60 degree we are seeing a change in the interval isn't it so the output voltage is changing after every 60 degrees so we're going to consider only one cycle and one cycle is associated with the total time period of 60 degrees that is pi by 3 i hope this point is clear into integration of pi by 6 plus alpha why is it pi by 6 plus alpha is because we had seen in the previous video clearly that the firing will start only after 30 degrees that is if alpha is equal to 0 that means it's starting at 30 degrees so pi by 6 plus alpha so irrespective of the value of alpha it will start after 30 degrees and the upper limit is nothing but you have to add 60 degrees to pi by 6 because of the interval so it is pi by 2 plus alpha it is pi by 2 plus alpha into vab vab is the phase we are considering here so v sorry vab is the line that we are considering here so vab d omega t so previously we had studied that vab is equal to root 3 vm sin of omega t plus pi by 6 isn't it so we are going to substitute this and simplify so the major challenge students face here is how to consider the total time period how to consider the lower and upper limits if you are able to understand this point from here on it's just mathematics of how to derive this particular expression which we will be doing now so we can consider 3 up so 3 and then substituting the terms pi by 6 plus alpha pi by 2 plus alpha VAB is nothing but root 3 times VM so sine of omega t plus pi by 6 into d omega t. So we will be getting 3 root 3 VM by pi integration of sine is minus cos. So minus cos of omega t plus pi by 6 lower limit is pi by 6 plus alpha upper limit is pi by 2 plus alpha now let us apply the upper and lower limits so continuing this in the next page so what you will be getting v out dc is equal to 3 root 3 vm by pi into minus of cos of pi by 2 the upper limit we are applying plus pi by 6 
when we are applying the lower limits that that is minus of minus will become equal to plus so you have plus cos of pi by 6 plus alpha plus pi by 6 so now this can be written as 3 root 3 vm by pi so i am going to write this term first because it's in plus so what do we get cos of pi by 6 plus pi by 6 is pi by 3 isn't it so you will be getting cos of pi by 3 plus alpha minus cos of taking lcm and solving this you will be getting cos of 2 pi by 3 plus alpha now this is in cos of a plus b form isn't it so we can split this again further 3 root 3 vm by pi splitting this further will be yielding us cos pi by 3 cos alpha cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b again you will be getting sin pi by 3 sin alpha minus again cos of a plus b form so cos 2 pi by 3 cos alpha minus of minus will be plus sin 2 pi by 3 sin alpha isn't it so now again solving this 3 root 3 vm by pi cos of pi by 3 that is cos 60 is nothing but 0.5 so 0.5 cos alpha minus sin 60 degrees root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 sin alpha minus cos of 2 pi by 3 it is nothing but minus 2 pi by 3 if you solve it's nothing but 120 degrees so cos of 120 degrees is nothing but minus 0.5 so minus of minus is plus 0.5 so plus 0.5 cos alpha plus sin of 120 degree is again nothing but root 3 by 2 into sin alpha so root this term this term will get cancelled 0 0.5 0 0.5 cos alpha will be 1 cos alpha isn't it so the average output voltage v out dc is equal to 3 root 3 vm cos alpha by pi So this is the average DC output voltage. In case they ask you the average DC current for a resistive load, it's clear that I out DC is nothing but V out DC by R. So that's it. You have to substitute. I hope this is clear. Now let's go into the discontinuous conduction mode. Now again, let us consider the waveform. So we will consider discontinuous conduction mode. Discontinuous conduction mode that is alpha is greater than 60 degrees. Again, what is the output voltage that we are going to get? So let's derive it again. V out DC is equal to again the total time period is nothing but 1 by pi by 3 integration of pi by 6 plus alpha that is the minimum firing angle where it can start. And if you carefully observe this waveform, that is, let's consider this waveform. So if you carefully observe at this instant, if it's starting, or let us say it's starting at pi by 6 plus alpha, at some point it has to stop, meaning to say that it's discontinuous at this point, if you carefully observe, that is 150 degree. In the previous waveform also, it is discontinuous at 150 degree. So beyond this, the output voltage will have the next cycle starting up, isn't it? So or is it it is equal to zero so there are two two cases here alpha is equal to 60 it's going to zero or it is continuing with the next cycle it's going to zero and then continuing with the next cycle so it's continuously zero for another 30 degrees in this case so in general we can say at 150 degrees is where the discontinuity starts so you can write it as pi pi by 3 
sorry 5 pi by 6 that is nothing but 150 degree 150 degree can be written as 5 pi by 6 so beyond which it's in discontinuous conduction mode the voltage will either have the next cycle or the output voltage will go to zero that's why we're going to consider only 5 pi by 6 and we're going to consider vab that is root 3 vm sine of omega t plus pi by 6 which we have seen in the previous case d omega t so v out dc is equal to again 3 root 3 vm by pi we can take it outside integration of sin is minus cos omega t plus pi by 6 lower limits pi by 6 plus alpha upper limits 5 pi by 6 now further simplifying this that is v out dc is equal to 3 root 3 vm by pi minus cos of substituting the upper limits 5 pi by 6 plus pi by 6 minus of minus will be plus so substituting the lower limits that is cos of pi by 6 plus alpha plus pi by 6 again we will be getting v out dc is nothing but 3 root 3 vm by pi so if you carefully observe we have cos of pi pi by 6 plus pi by 6 is nothing but 6 pi by 6 that is cos of pi cos of pi is nothing but minus 1 minus of minus 1 will be equal to plus 1 so you'll be getting 1 plus cos of pi by 6 plus pi by 6 will be pi by 3 so you can write it as alpha plus pi by 3 so this is the average dc output voltage under discontinuous conduction mode i hope this point is clear so this is how we do the derivation so it's extremely important to make a note of these expressions to solve problems related to this i hope this video gave you a clear understanding in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching stay tuned